Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. It's been a while. I don't know how long, actually. Wait. Uh, seven. F Wait, really? You know, I find that strange, you know. Like, it's got the month first, then the day, then the year. I'm looking at my laptop, and it's the other way around, where it's day first, month second. This confuses me, because, uh, I think the UK way, like, is how he is on my laptop, I assume. Because I'm kind of used to that. So why is it, or maybe it's because when they did the, uh, release outside of Japan, they were just like, uh, should we, you know, change the date setting to, you know, match, like, how it is in the UK and Europe? Fuck it, just keep it the US version. Fuck it. We're not even gonna, like, do the spelling shit. Just like, oh, we got, like, something like, I don't know, use of the word favorite or something in the game, which I kind of don't even think is ever used in this game. I don't think any... Text says favorite in this. But if it did, it'd be like, oh, you're gonna leave out the U, but that's the way it is in the UK. You're taking the U out of it. It's like, well, because it w we translated the American way. Because, fuck it. So, uh, anyways, it's been a while. If it was like, I've already forgotten, was it the 7th of March? Is now the second of bloody April. It's been a long time then. Nearly a whole month. You know? And my sleeping pattern's been all over the place, which is why I haven't, you know, got around to recording. Because, well, uh, uh, yeah. Let's see where this will take us. I forgot where we last left off with Medley. Even though I uploaded the previous part, not to... Well, actually, I uploaded the previous part. Ah, uh, a couple of days ago. Okay, she's right outside the boss room. That's where we gotta go. That's where we gotta be. But I forget how we get there because it's been a while. It's trouble with this, man. It's like I literally slept through uh, Easter April Fool's Day, which I found kind of weird. It's like, what are the odds that Easter would land on April Fool's Day? I don't think it's always that. Oh, wrong one. Wait, is this gonna be one of those ones where I gotta. Nope. But yeah, like, my sleeping pattern currently is more or less like, uh. I wake through the, uh, wrong room. Uh, the night and mornings. Which is weird. So I'm usually, well, I don't know. I, I forget what my usual sleeping pattern is like. Before or recently, it was more or less be awake throughout the day, so I'm recording this at night because I only just woke up like an hour ago or something. I don't know, so I'm not really prepared to take on the boss, but here we are anyway. Where is Medley? Wait, ah, uh, she's in. She's quite a ways away. Medley! I don't remember how to get around. Is this the right way? Nope. It's kinda hard to, uh, you know, tell my sense of direction is shit. Gets that one. I should really just look at the map on the bottom of the screen where I can actually see where I am. Also, the previous part, that thumbnail, right? With that, it's just like, Medley's just like, Medley commands you to, 
like this video or some shit. I don't care. Ow. There you are, Medley. Okay, Medley. We've got the compass. We've. I'm pretty sure we've got everything that. Yep. Everything we could possibly have in here. It's been a long journey through the Earth Temple, but now we must take on the boss. And the only way is to fly! <sighs> and I kind of think we still don't know about that one platform place. I have no idea if there's anything to it. You know, have we got any empty bottles? We have one. I bet there's gonna be a fairy in one of these. Nope. Well, that was pointless then. What are we gonna need? Uh. Just gonna assume that. Can we open the door with medley? I doubt it. Ain't no way we going into the boss room with Medley. With your head going through the lock. Like, yeah, you wait out of here. I'm gonna go see the boss. I have a few complaints. It's like this place is... What? What I really should be taking out is this. Uh, back her up, sir. Oh, Jesus Christ, sir, could you, for the love of God. You're too fat for the camera, sir. Stop it. Maybe that'll do. I hope so. Let's get on with it. Yeah. I forget what the controls are. Picture that I didn't save it somehow. somehow. Uh, uh, I forget how this boss works. Do. 
How do I battle you, fat ass? It's been so many years that I just can't seem to remember. It's like, attack is fatness, but how? Oh, that's how. You have to think about it. The first fight isn't really that difficult. It's just that initial brain fart moment where I didn't think, you know, pick him up. So despite, you know, having less ghost to ghosts there, he still somehow ends up the same size. Hey, I want my heart! Bitch. Ow. You got new attacks, I see. I can't really imagine this uh, boss fight being challenging in any way. Once you know what you're doing, it's uh, pretty straightforward, unless you like, well, even if you just have free hearts for whatever reason, you still wouldn't have trouble in this guy. Get back here, you pesky little bastards! I think at some point he actually, you know, does something different. Yeah. Ah, he's possessed me! <laughs> yeah, as you can see, that's changing. Oh, god damn, I, I am doing really bad things. So much for this being easy, right? Aiming's a little bit of a pain in the ass, I gotta say. Uh-oh. Stop blowing me, sir. You know, would a ghost even have any weight? So would Link have any trouble even if he didn't have the thing? That makes him stronger. I mean, he may be fat, but he's just a ghost.
We are as intimidating as something not intimidating. Your attacks literally consist of you falling on me, sir. And despite only having two ghosts, left he's still the same size so really was it really needed you know all those ghosts Sudden light from nowhere. I think so. He's like, Yay, I win! Look, it's a triforce! Didn't even notice it till now. So, uh, where's Medley? I wonder if we can just leave this place, like, without going through that. Good heart, good day, your life energy is increased by one, plus your life yards is being replaced. I wonder. I doubt it. Nope, can't interact with the door. It's like, medley, I'll meet you wherever. Now she chooses to show up. <laughs> ah, that's what it's for. Conducting! The prayers of the Earth Sage have restored the Master Sword's former enemy. There is but one last step before it becomes the true Master Sword once again. I think the power to repel evil is not yet fully awakened. To complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. Now, Link, step into the light behind you and return to the surface. Your next duty is to find the Sage of the Wind Temple. I will remain here and continue to pray. You must hurry. And Link. Um, about Prince Kamali. Please watch over him for me. Even though you're kind of busy with the whole saving the world thing.
I'll just stay here till like the end of the game more or less. Okay, let's go back in. I think like you can still like meet up with Medley, but she'll be here for the remainder of the game, pretty much. All alone in this creepy place. It's kind of uh, shit, really, isn't it? Yep. I just hope I don't have to go through that. B oh, no enemies here anymore. Oh, wait, no, they are. So they're still here. So hope I don't have to go through it again because I didn't get the picture right of some shit. That would suck. Actually, we should probably just take the normal route because it's, you know, quicker than taking that thing, which isn't really much of a shortcut. Ow. You know, for some reason, just thought, wouldn't it be cool if Link had a skateboard? Then I remembered, what about that spinner thing in Twilight Princess? That would make traveling around here quicker. Oh no, the elephant man! Who isn't the elephant man, but he sounds like an elephant. I wonder what would be the most bizarre combination of animal sounds to create something that is both weird and scary. Wasn't like the T-Rex roar in Jurassic Park, like, it was made of the health and something else. Uh, chaos. Just now realized we could have just got across the gap, but we wouldn't have had Medley with us if we did that. Medley, I've come to pay a visit even though uh, it hasn't been all that long. So this, sh is, is it like another case where it's like, uh, with, uh, you know, uh, what was the name again, Tetra? Or Zelda, I guess. Look at him, he's just like, when he's just looking at it, he's like, ooh. Where she's just like stuck here, do, well, oh, you stop playing. It's like, I don't have to play it all the time, but. Fuck, there's nothing else to do here. Play the same melody over and over again. I mean, I get really good at it. I mean, I've already perfected it, but... You know, I just play this for the rest of the game in this place. So, uh, Medley wasn't made to bring any snacks or anything. You know, some water, perhaps. Because you're gonna be here for, like, the entire game from this point till the ending. Uh, bit of spoilers, but that is what the case is. You'll be like, and I'm just slowly panning around. And you'll just be playing this melody over and over again. Do you want me to teach you any more tunes? Maybe the song of passing, that'll make things go quickly, won't it? How about the Wind's Requiem, you know? How about, uh, how about the Wind Temple one? Oh wait, we don't know the Wind Temple one. But I could teach you that one when we get it. Except you probably can't interact with the uh, Wind Waker. So that medley, that melody you're playing, it's in D major, right? Or maybe it's B major, but it's definitely D major. It's like a D major arpeggio in there or something. It's a nice melody, but you know, you know when the boss is feeling. Edley, uh, you know, when you were playing with the sage and I, I distinctly heard another instrument in there as well as the hop, so how does that work, Medley? Yeah, you know, it was kind of odd. You had like an accompanying instrument or something. I'm just stalling the time here. <laughs> Zoo. So Medley, what do you got to say? Have you got anything to say? We can't even talk to you! Mm -hmm. 
How does that hop work anyway? I'll jam along with you, Edley. We can make a guitar, although it probably won't pick up as well. I forget how it goes, like... I'll try to play accompanying chords instead because I can't play the whole melody properly. No. It just it kind of goes off a bit. I can't figure it out. Like. Whatever, Medley. It's nice jamming with you. Let the melody ring out for the remainder of the game, except we won't be here. The shame we don't get it to even interact with her at all here. Ah, uh, I wonder. Uh, I forget how it goes. He's not even gonna do it right, is he? Uh, oh, yeah. Get your penis off the floor, Link. We've been over this a lot of times. Come on, Link. 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 
Link! For fuck's sake, Link! Penis off floor. <laughs> Fuck it. I can't even move in there. Effects <laughs> of you can not can only be placed with a sun and moon visible. I command you to do stuff like speak. Nothing nearby that you can control. You can't control Medley, she is the harp master. Feel bad about, you know, leaving Med Edley here, but there's nothing really we can do. Can't even conduct any songs for her or anything, or talk to her or anything. It'll be the same with the other one as well, which we'll get to eventually. Do, 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 do. Uh, later, Medley. Unless, of course, you know, uh, the pictograph guy's like, Oh, it doesn't turn me on, that giant fat ghost, and I have to do it again. So, King of Red Lions, this whole business of uh, stuff. The Master Sword's power still is not fully returned. Perhaps I'm mistaken, but I fear the worst for the Sage and the remaining temple. You must hurry, Link. Well, if the fir if the Sage of this temple was killed, what are the odds the other one would have been? Pretty obvious. I mean, if Ganon didn't kill both Sages, then it'd be kind of stupid, wouldn't it? Like, oh, he killed the one in the Earth Temple, but not the Wind Temple, because maybe he didn't know. But that would be stupid. Ganon seems to know what he's doing. Oh, I wonder if I'll end up just doing a bunch of side quests before going on to the second temple. I mean, we're in a general area for the <laughs> spoilers, and yes, uh, for where we'll be, you know, needing stuff, things. But we're not here for that right now. We're not moving on with the plot just yet. I mean, we just completed a temple, man. And I gotta check to see if I got that picture right. By the way, the next uh, temple will have a mini boss that has a, you know, much like a normal boss, a one time only appearance. What the hell is the King of Red Lions doing there? You Nile Roxbury or whatever it's called? He's like, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> don't hurt me. No more. I mean, what the hell are you doing down there? I have come with picture. Wait, I did take two pictures? They look like that. Oh no, they are not, aren't actually. What about this one? Ah! It's quite an inspiring motive. Hurrah! I'm filled with inspiration. This ghost looks like me. Please permit me to sculpt this, and it will be a jewel of a figurine. All right, here's usual. You'll have to wait until tomorrow. I bet you're looking forward to seeing what you're going to get. So, I suppose we can get rid of the other one. You know what? It just lagged at the last second. Of course it would. So, I'm going to get the Wind Waker out in 3, 2, 1, 0. Ah, uh, how'd it go? Song of Passing. Of a D minor arpeggio.
This is much like my sleeping pattern I mentioned, you know? It's never daytime. Well, actually it is, because my sleeping pattern is definitely currently night and morning. Which is odd, because, like, I have, like, an, a really irregular sleeping pattern usually. But usually it'd be, like, you know, afternoons to night, and then I'd sleep for the morning. But past few days, it's been sleeping in the afternoon, so it's kind of backwards for me. It's just like, but that's backwards for most people. People are awake for the days. Anyway, sir. Welcome, Nick. The figurine you requested is ready. I know I always say this, but this is some of the best work I've done in quite a while. Go in that door there to check it out. I put it in the room right across from me. You can't miss it. So I know the bosses of the uh, temples are what pretty much killed off the siege, right? So the Zora siege was killed by that fat ghost thing. I mean, as I demonstrated, it's not really a tough battle, but I failed at it quite a bit because I was being an idiot. But then again, the Zora doesn't have, you know, the Master Sword and shit, you know? So the Zora... Sage would have had a lot more trouble with that. Those eyes. Jalhalla, protector of the seal, habitat, earth temple, underlings pose. Well, isn't he made up of it? Well, I guess it's the mask that's the real boss there. This gigantic ghost rules over all pose. After reflecting light onto it with the mirror shield, you can lift it and throw it around. So it's a bit like a vampire in a way. It, it would not be able to go outside because there'd be too much light. Heck, the freaking moon would probably be enough to do damage. Come to think of it, well, they have those lights reflecting there, but you know, most of the temple should have been pitch black. It's underground. There's barely any light. Well, there's torches, but still, it should have been darker. But if it was, that made the game a shit ton harder, and a bit more scarier, really. I have a mask, and I just realized he's got like, uh, those aren't teeth necessarily, but they kind of in that kind of way. And I guess he's got a lantern, which makes no sense. I guess the lantern doesn't affect him. You're very round, sir. You're like, you're pretty much just a balloon. With boobs, or moobs, and arms and legs. You look like a ghost out of Casper, really. You also got some kind of shirt. Interruption, I have food, but I'm wrapping this part up anyway, so, you know, doesn't matter. Ow. So one temple down, uh, uh, what else? There's the other temple, and then there's a ridiculously long, and I mean seriously, ridiculously long, mandatory quest that feels like a tedious side quest. And then there's the final area of the game and the final boss and stuff. So yeah. But, we will continue on with our quest for stuff. I don't know what I'll do in the next part. Maybe I'll initiate the next temple. Maybe I'll do side quests. I don't know, really, to be honest. Link is camouflaging in with the grass. Anyways, see you next time, viewers. See you next time.